there's a bunch of cars that are just U-turning in the middle of the road, and I was like, what are they doing? What's going on everybody, it is Moonbow here, and we are back, that's right, we are back in City Skylines. But, as you can see in this episode, I'm gonna be doing a time lapse, because you know what, uh, I was doing City Skylines a couple episodes, and I was really having a hard time figuring out, like, how to record it, and edit, and put it all together, uh, in a way that made sense. Uh, so, and that was kind of why I was very hesitant on making more videos, uh, so I do apologize, of course, for... Uh, the delay in City Skylines. I do absolutely love the game. I have a lot of fun playing it, and I think very soon I'm gonna get into the whole mod thing. Uh, I haven't really looked into it too much, but I think uh, the game is kind of, uh, it's not getting old or anything, but I think, I think it's time for me to branch out into more mods of the game so I can enjoy more, like, building possibilities, I suppose you could say. But, we're going to be hanging out with me here uh, while we watch the time lapse, and I'll kind of talk about what I'm doing, um, some successes, some failures as well. Uh, so uh, there's a whole bunch to see in this video. I played for approximately, I think it was about an hour or so in total, and I, I did manage to get quite a bit done. I did gain about 10,000 population in that hour. Um, it, it did struggle a little bit for a while, and we'll see that eventually. But, so right now I'm just working on the, I guess I called it the Sunrise uh, Metro, so this is the other side, which was the downtown number two that I started on. Um, and as you can see, I was just fooling around with the uh, terrain tool there, and I find it weird, actually. Uh, you try and use the terrain tool, and it's always saying, not enough terrain, not enough terrain. And <laughs> I kind of flooded, you. <laughs> I flooded the road there a little bit, and I saw a car drive through it, and I was like, oh, I hope, I hope they're alright. <laughs> But so here it's just more planning, some infrastructure stuff, uh, getting ready to really expand on it. Uh, so I kind of prepped, you can see I have my water station there, so I added some more water uh, just in preparation for the new expansion downtown. Um, and this, this is a funny story, this whole section right there that you saw for a moment was, uh, it's gonna be a new, it was a new industrial section and I, it's failing terribly. Uh, you'll see later on in the video I'll be focusing more on it. Uh, but right now I'm really just focusing on that infrastructure. Uh, and also um, adding the uh, the residential and industrial and stuff as the uh, as it needs to come up anyway. Uh, but as you can see, though, I have a whole bunch of money. I'm gaining a lot of people, uh, so there's no real issues there right now at this point in the build. So I'm kind of just going free reign with my uh, uh, what is that the uh, the territories or something? I can't remember what it's called right now. But you know, I'm sectioning off all the different uh, industries and residential areas. Uh, so here it is, some school stuff. Of course, you need to get the school stuff going on. Um, so really, this section was something that I really wanted to expand on eventually, and it did turn out pretty good. Uh, I, I find it kind of funny, actually. You'll notice during the time lapse, every now and then, I, like, I'll move on somewhere else and build there for a quick second. Like, right there, that was a little ring subdivision that I had never finished in the last episode. Uh, so I really wanted to get that done. So right now, this is quickly... Okay, there it is, look. So you can see, that's the new industrial section right there. Uh, it didn't have water, I needed power. Um, and I, I actually, I failed miserably. I didn't realize, see, so I'm adding those windmills right there to generate power. And it started giving it power, but I didn't realize as I was adding to it that that whole section wasn't even on the main grid. So uh, I that was like a noob kind of problem of mine, was I didn't realize it was on the main grid. And... Uh, and it, it didn't work for a long time. Uh, but that was me just checking out the uh, the next achievement. I was really looking forward to a bunch of new stuff. And I think in the next episode I'll be expanding even more. Because I did get a few new uh, special unique buildings. So now I'm setting up busways. Because I was like, you know what? I always have a hard time making industrial zones. Uh, so I started adding buses as quick as I could. Uh, you can see there's no power, there's nothing there, I, this was a, that section was a disaster to be honest with you, I don't even, I don't even know what I was thinking. But here, I decided to add two of those, um, shipping container yards, uh, I really wanted to start bringing more industry in, and I figured if I'm gonna do it, I should do it, like, earlier on in that section development than later, uh, while I still have all the room. Uh, so this was basically, like, a, a quick little attachment zone for that. Uh, and it also kind of expanded the city a little bit as well, which I was happy with. 
There's a quick glimpse of the epic failed industrial zone there. And I think there it is. Yeah, I even had a subway. I'm adding a subway because I was like, wow, there's nobody working. There's nobody coming here. I mean, there's really not much to offer as far as why you would go there other than to work. Um, I think uh, I might need to maybe learn a little bit more about like industrial zoning. I, I don't even zone a lot of the industrial areas, which I probably should. There's me. I was just chasing a cop car. I saw it come out of nowhere. I was like, oh, a cop car. I, I always show you could you could see them like, I don't know if you can see them busting the criminal, but I think that'd be awesome. Maybe there's a mod for it where you can actually see the cop like run someone down and tackle them. That'd be pretty funny. So, as you can see, though, I'm slowly building everything up. So you'll see I'll go from each uh, zone to another, like, in sequence. So I'll add some residential, add a bit of industrial, add some commerce. Now here, this was me realizing I still was missing quite a bit of infrastructure on the uh, sunny side kind of metro area. Um, and also the uh, the parks, you have to add parks because I noticed like even in, an us in, in the industrial zones you want to add those plaza parks and stuff because people won't want to come and work there if they're not happy. So here I am, that's me right there destroying everything. I was like, wow, what have I done? Because um, those were all one-way streets actually going in like two rings. So I switched all those uh, streets over to two-way streets and I really, I, I was hoping that that would increase the flow of traffic and maybe even like, have more people go to that area. Um, you'll see, though, by the end of the episode, I think it, it does shape up much better once I realize my mistake there. So working on the sunny side here, you can see those are kind of like suns with rays. I don't know, there's four suns, whatever alien planet you're on that has four suns, four stars, that'd be crazy. Alright, so here, this was me changing that entire section. So... I realized I turned it all into a one-way highway section, so it was all coming into the sunny side area. So what I ended up doing right here was adding, like, a, a tangent uh, highway right next to it. So that way it meets up right there. Uh, and you'll see, actually, like, I monitor the traffic here and there just to make sure things are flowing right. And that section actually uh, picks up quite a bit of traffic, which is absolutely awesome. So here, this is me going around. I realized, like, you know, there's all these little tiny plots of land and stuff that just haven't been zoned yet. So I go around the city uh, trying my best to plot as much as I can in those empty spots because really it's just wasted space. But as you can see right now, my population count went down into the minuses for a little bit and then it kind of bounced right back again. Uh, and you can see this was actually one of the biggest bounces I had. I was making like almost 70k uh, a week or a day or whatever it was and, uh, and that was quite a bit. And then obviously it's going to dip back down because you can't have a stable city for too long. So here's my a second attempt at a residential area. I always, like I, or sorry, not residential, industrial. And like I said, I don't even want to talk about it. That's how bad it is. Like, oh my god, my industrial zones are epic failures. They cause terrible traffic jams. Um, so I might start kind of tearing parts of the city out and rebuilding them from the ground up. I mean, I have the money to do it. I just, I hate kind of disrupting the, uh, the entire flow of the city. So there's me preparing that industrial zone for more failure, just like this one. So this is my this is my solution right here. I'm like, okay, wait, no, there's got to be people, right? So I start just panicking and putting residential right off the... And that's what I actually, that's what I always do. I'm making like a, an industrial zone. I see it's failing and I start struggling. So this was a little bit of a traffic jam area. And I noticed that because like when the ship does come in, uh, it's like a big influx into your city, like all of these vehicles are just appearing out of nowhere, and I wasn't really expecting that, I didn't know what to expect. Uh, so all of a sudden, all these vehicles are appearing, so I quickly scramble right here to try and, uh, and line it all up with uh, more flow. And I think in the end it did work, because the ships aren't always going to be there, so it, it can handle the flow of traffic when there's a burst like that. So here's me fooling around with that terrain tool again. It's always saying not enough land, and I don't understand. I was trying to make some mountainous kind of areas, uh, but in the end, instead, I was just like, well, yeah, you know what, let me just dig a hole. <laughs> and that's about it. So here, this is me filling in the uh, the suns a little bit more, as you can see. I, I feel more and more confident in that section as I see it's growing and it's becoming more and more successful. 
I decide, okay, it's time to uh, start expanding a little bit more. Uh, so I start putting in bus loops, actually. Um, I haven't quite connected the one downtown side to the other downtown side by Metro Bus yet. Uh, so I think eventually I will do that, because there are two main bridges that feed into the second downtown from either side. Uh, so I'll probably add a nice Metro Bus system to go across those bridges. So this is the shipping yard. Because of the roads that I added, it, it it really changed the dynamic of that section, actually. So I ended up deciding to put a little mini road there. I kept that little kind of uh, terrain, like, automatic building there. And I decided eventually I was going to start putting some residential. So here you can see, this is actually where I went into the minuses for the longest time. It was really bad for a while. And I realized, like, I had to do something. And then I noticed that the happiness and stuff was really far down in a lot of aspects in that area. And which I think was just causing, not like, the houses weren't filling up enough to substantiate all of the other things that I had been expanding on. So eventually, though, I think I brought more people into that area. And you can see, I did bounce back financially. But you never bounce back all the way. So I was really digging that little uh, shipping area with the highway. Uh, the two highways that run next to each other is absolutely awesome. And here's me um, hiding my problems, of course, you know, deleting my problems. Uh, I think eventually, though, it does come back around. There's, there's, that was me checking out two ships that... I mean, it would be too funny if ships could collide because uh, you, you'd have a lot of accidents because the, the, uh, the ships run on the exact same route. So here's another attempt here to fix that industrial zone, so I did connect one of the sun rays onto the, uh, the exiting highway there. And I was kind of hoping that maybe it would allow for some of the residents to move over into that, like, industrial zone for work. Uh, it didn't quite work out the way I planned, but... I mean, that, because really, that was a section that was designed specifically for a garbage incinerator. So here's me kind of finishing up the, uh, fourth sun there. Um, and there's me as, like, that's, that industrial curse of mine, always, always destroying stuff. So here I decided to finally, uh, district the second downtown, and, uh, I think I named it Downtown 2, and then I changed my mind, and it was kind of funny. But I chose to increase the housing technology, but also increase the low-income housing, uh, taxes. Uh, so that way I would hopefully make a little bit more money from the, uh, small housing that was to the left of the, the sunny side there. So this is just me kind of taking care of the uh, zones as they come up. Uh, you can see, I mean, it's pretty straightforward when it comes to zoning stuff, because the roads dictate where you build, right? So you never have to worry about uh, putting roads into a zone. You just have to zone around the roads, which is kind of a, an interesting style, I find. So look, I noticed here, look, I don't know what happened, but I mean, a building did burn down, but I don't know if that stops traffic. Because you can see there's a bunch of cars that are just U-turning in the middle of the road. And I was like, what are they doing? Uh, there was no reason for it, as far as I could tell, unless the fire did divert traffic. But eventually it did fix itself, and I didn't change anything. So I, that's me noticing even more plots of land. So I, uh, I've decided to fill it in. Because that the, that's the end corner of the world right there, I believe. I can't expand in that corner. But I thought I was going to be able to. And so when I realized that I couldn't, it was kind of disappointing. Because I didn't quite finish it. Like, I didn't build it the way I wanted it to fully. Because I thought I had more space. So this is another desperate attempt to fix the worst intersection in my city. Uh, you can see the loads of traffic that are coming in. Uh, not only from that side, but the side right next to it as well here, right? So I was trying to see where they were wanting to go, and so I decided to add like a massive like off-ramp from the highway. Uh, but they never ended up using it. And then I saw all those donut trucks. I was like, oh my god, does this city run on donuts? Sounds about right. Alright, so there's me deleting... The industrial zone, yet again, that's right, it failed miserably the uh, the second time around that it built up. Uh, but I, I eventually started to, like, try my best to expand there, and one of the first attempts here was me building, a, like, some off-ramps from those highways. And I think it did make a difference, and it allowed for me to add more roadways as well. 
Um, so this is my attempt to get more traffic into that area because the entrance to that section from the other side, the left side, it was really bad. It was, it was really bad. I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> So that was like a one way coming off the highway that way, and then I added another uh, ramp that will go back up to the highway coming out of that city. Or city. <laughs> Little neighborhood, I should say. The whole thing is a city. So, like I said, though, uh, it did allow me to expand a little bit more. So I added another square there, which is uh, which was going to be for more residential to kind of substantiate the uh, industrial that was right next to it. See, so all those, like, those buildings just keep abandoning themselves, and I keep destroying them and putting them back together. Um, trying to get it to work. And I'll be honest, I'm probably, like, I don't, you're probably wondering, why does he have such a successful city? It's clear that he's terrible at this game. And you're right! I don't have an answer for you, though. There it is, Sunrise Downtown Metro. Sunrise Metro. Uh, that was, uh, the official naming of the district. And so, of course, after naming the district, I figured it was time to, uh, kind of finish it up completely, or at least, uh, prep it for that. So I get more water, obviously. I think I get another, uh, sewage treatment plant as well to, uh, substantiate the other end. And you can see I bring it back into the green there. And it's kind of funny, the city is so big that you get lost, you know, like, not lost, but, like, lost in your process. Like, you have an idea, and you want to expand on it and build on it, and then you just kind of drag yourself away. But that was me finishing up the final empty spots in that main downtown. So I think I'm trying to look at different infrastructure there, garbage and stuff, and it's kind of funny. I think that was the moment when I realized, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to forget about it, because I think, like, in the real world, you know what, you can't make everybody happy. Um, and But, like, there's the shadies, shadiness of politics, so um, it's kind of funny. Like, if people are complaining about garbage in one area, then I might say, you know what, you might just have to suffer. Uh, obviously, I am a terrible mayor, uh, but that's just poor planning on my part. But this is still technically my first city, right? Like, I haven't started a new... Um, it, minus the times that I failed miserably and had to restart. Uh, but you can see, like, I'm losing money and people yet again. And this is where I started to wonder what was going on with that other industrial section that I started, because no one was moving in, uh, it was going terribly, there was no power, and that's when I was like, wait, why is there no power here? It didn't make any sense, uh, but you'll see why in a second. Because there I start adding more infrastructure, like a police and fire department. And I even build up the shipyard a little bit with a police station and a fire station. But there it is, look, all of these things had no power, and I was like, wait, I'm looking at my power, it's in the green, and I totally scrubbed out. I was a total noob in that moment, because the, uh, the, the, that section was off the grid, and I'm like, wait, it's, why is it, and then I, then I started adding more windmills there, and I was like, oh, so I added an extra one. Just to be safe, just not have that problem happen. And then look at my money now. As soon as I gave power to those sections there, my money shot through the roof up to like 70 grand or something like that. Uh, and I was getting like two, 300 people a week. And it was, it was the best decision of my life. I was like, oh, okay, now I, I learned though. It's off the grid, gotta be on the grid. So overall, though, like, I was becoming more and more happy with the uh, entire city process build there. Um, as you can see right there, I just increased all of my budgets. I maxed my budgets out because I wanted to see my limits on taxation. So I ended up just totally maxing it out and finally finishing the, the second sun there, uh, which kind of had some weird bubbles on the top, but I, I, needed, more, I needed more roadway. And there it is, hitting 90,000 population. I did end up getting the uh, space elevator, which was actually pretty exciting. Uh, so I figured, you know what, I would add it to the second downtown to kind of bring more people over to the side there. Uh, so I decide a little bit of a roadway here. I go for like a nice square U shape uh, where I can just pop it right in the center there. Uh, but I did actually, oh no wait, yeah that's right, I didn't even put it in the center. I did use the terrain tool uh, just to kind of get it off to the side and have a nice like ocean or river front view. And so I wire it up in the water and get some power to it. 
and it just looks absolutely fantastic. So that is pretty much it for it today guys in the city skylines um if you do enjoy the uh the time lapse and everything let me know in the comments uh, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for you know the other stuff scrap mechanic some streams of course as well uh so thank you so much guys for watching and i like i said i'm so sorry again for the delay but i'll be seeing you guys in the next one bye for now